In this exercise, we will enable CockroachDB's change data capture, also known as CDC. CDC will keep track of any changes that occur in our outbox table and automatically push those changes to Kafka. Once the events are in Kafka, we'll be able to subscribe to them and consume them in other services. The first thing we need to do is we need an actual instance of Kafka running since that's where we're going to be pushing the data to. Um, now, what we've done is we've set up a Docker Compose script. Uh, so you can see that here. Um, that means that we can just execute this Docker Compose script. So we'll do a Docker Compose up uh, and that will actually get our Docker image running. Next, we need to enable CDC, change data capture, uh, and we do that uh, with just a couple of quick SQL commands. So we're going to start with set cluster setting kv.rangefeed.enabled equals true. Uh, so that actually enables the capability to create range feeds, but we haven't, range feeds are also known as uh, change feeds. That's what we get out of a change data capture system. Um, so this enables our capability to create these range feeds, but now we actually have to create one. Um, and so the next command that we're going to run is create change feed for table. Now we're in our mover rides database uh, and in that rides database, the table that we're interested in is called events. And so we'll put the table name here. Uh, and then we want that to go into Kafka. And because we are running uh, locally, we're going to do Kafka colon slash slash local host colon Kafka's default port is 9092. Um, so we're going to run on 9092. Uh, and we want to just include some additional detail um, in the actual Kafka topic name. Uh, so we're going to use with full table name, uh, and that'll just give us kind of a richer um, table or richer topic name when it actually pushes into Kafka. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and that's it. We have enabled uh, change data capture and the events should now be flowing into Kafka. But let's take a minute and actually double check that. So to actually verify that our data is making it into Kafka, we're gonna run a very simple Docker command. Um, so we're gonna do docker exec. Um, so this is gonna actually execute the command on the Kafka instance um, that is currently running. So we, we ran that instance with Docker Compose. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the Kafka console consumer. This, so this is just a terminal command that allows us to consume a topic. Now the topic is going to be mover rides dot public dot events. So that's the topic that got created uh, when we created our change feed. Uh, we want to consume it from the beginning. Um, and then we want to pass in the bootstrap server, which is going to be uh, because this is running on the Kafka instance, it's going to be localhost 9092. Uh, so that's the command we're going to execute. Um, and what this will do is it'll actually start consuming that topic that we created. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Uh, so you can see that we got some data out of it. Um, and so you see that we have this after. Um, so this is um, some detail that is actually put into the uh, data that we push into Kafka. Um, when we use CDC, uh, this indicates that it's the state of the event after, or the state of the row, I guess, uh, after we have actually published the data. You can also set it up so that you can publish the before state, so you can actually get the before and after state so that you can compare the two if necessary. But because this table is purely additive, there is never a before state, and so we're only ever going to get the after. Now, if we look uh, in there, we have an event data field as JSON. Uh, and again, then we have the JSON for our actual event. Uh, we have an event type, which is ride started. We have an ID uh, and we have a timestamp. So this is all the same data that we saw over in our table uh, when we first created the event. Um, so that's good. That means that the data is making it all the way into Kafka and we can start consuming it downstream now. Now, just to be sure that everything is working the way I expect, uh, I'm just popping back into my mover application uh, and I'm just gonna start another ride with a different vehicle. And I, I just wanna make sure that that actually goes all the way into the console consumer. So let's go ahead and see what happens. So I'll hit start ride. That'll bring me over and you can see I've got a ride started. Now let's jump back into our terminal and see what we see there. Back in our terminal, we see that we got another event, um, which is exactly what we expected to happen. Um, so it looks like 
anytime I start a ride in the user interface, it is going to actually create another entry in Kafka. Um, so again, everything's working exactly as I expect at this point.